Reading body language is an extremely helpful tool when going into interactions with people. Despite the fact that 55% of communication is strictly nonverbal, not many people pay attention to body language. A really good way to practice if you are able to read body language is by watching movies and shows on mute to see if you could figure out what is going on. That's essentially what we're going to be doing today. So today we are going to be breaking a scene from 27 dresses. I will say I'm not an expert. This is just something I have been practicing for the past three years. It is something I try to actively do. If you see something I don't, feel free to comment down below and let me know what I missed. And if you think this is helpful and that you would like to improve your body language and or build social skills or see my interactions with others, feel free to subscribe. I've never heard of this movie. I've never seen this clip before, but we're going to see what I am looking for when we are analyzing body language. Doesn't matter my name. I am Spencer Chan. Let's get into it. So right off the bat, I noticed we have a guy and a girl. I imagine just strictly by framing of and the cinematography, this is a rom a romantic uh, rom-com it's a romantic film of whatnot and they're outside a restaurant the fact that we're starting at zero seconds and that he is coming out and she is out i'm looking at her and i am seeing that she is very closed off she's looking down her hands are inside and her stance is very wide wider than her shoulders showing that she is in a very closed defensive scene <sighs> right we're watching this mute <laughs> so right here i'm gonna mute it the little brush the Within, within a split second, we could tell that, she, even just with her face. A lot of you guys could see this, but she is obviously very distressed. It, obviously, what may have happened to invoke this face is that he probably did something really messed up. Or he did her dirty or whatnot. Did some foul play. She's really over it. He messed up, essentially. Uh, that's what I looked at when I saw the wave hand. She really does not want to hear what he has to say so what i will say about body language is you are just figuring out what is going on a lot of actions are congruent with your words and so it it seems that it might be obvious but you have to understand why that is the fact that she even is just standing like this very wide and being big it is showing a defense mechanism of of self-protection and you can see that little breath the right before he speaks He's defending himself. He's trying to give a reason to why he acted or said the thing that he may have said or done. And the fact that he is showing his palms of his hands shows that he is trying to be very sincere about it. If not sincere, it is extremely deceptive. Showing our hands shows we are vulnerable, that we have nothing in our hands. Magicians do this all the time to, to get us distracted. Ooh, ooh, did you catch that? We're not even sh seeing her face, but the actor does a very great job showing that he's talking, right? So he's talking. And before he even stops, you can see that he paused a little bit. And you can tell that she starts talking. I can't even see her face, but I'm reading the body language of his face to see, oh, he got interrupted. That is a huge tell. If the face shows a variety of different emotions. But so too does body language. The fact that she herself is pointing outwards, I mean, she is trying to disengage away from him. Come on, when you think about it, when you are giving someone your full attention, you face them because you want to give them your entire attention. And that's what she did right here. She is literally having her back turned to him. She don't want to hear it. Yeah, he fucked up. <laughs> he fucked up. But the fact that she still lingers, that she's still saying, shows that she does still care. Your actions speak louder than your words. And the fact that she is still here, whether it be for the plot of the sake of the movie or whatnot, you could tell that there's a reason why she stayed. If she was truly pissed, she would walk away. But the fact that she's listening, hearing him out, it says something about this unique dynamic between the two. And the fact that she's trying to walk away and he grabs her and she doesn't pull away. She's starting to open up and really hear him out. Listen, listen to me talk. That's probably something he's saying. Um, he's defending himself. He's, he's passionate in his eyes. You can see it in his eyebrows. His eyebrows are furrowing. I think that's the right word. And her gaze softens. If you go back to an earlier clip, she is pretty pissed. You can see it in her eyebrows. Her what, I, I don't know what you call these things. Your, your cheeks, the, the, the cheek lines... She's upset, but then here you can see it in her eyes, you can see it in her eyebrows and her cheekbones and her lips. Her gaze softens and she's, she's really trying to take it all in. 
Yeah. Spewing, 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 and talking, talking, talking. Come on, get on with it. This clip is only two minutes, and there's already so much to unpack. Along the lines, he is defending his sentence, and his sentence, his argument, and the fact that her gaze is soft, and he, he low-key making sense. He low-key spitting facts about whatever. He's low-key right. But you could also tell that he understands he was wrong. I think she's more disappointed than anything. She she really is disappointed. The The lack of eye contact shows that she doesn't necessarily want to see him. And that's not something you should just ignore. Okay, I kind of blinked out for a second, but I imagine what happened is within... Two things could have happened. Number one, he, he says something along the if you like a dilemma of, if you truly don't want to associate with me, I'll walk away right now. Or at the same time, he just needs a moment to just think. I, I don't know. He's going to turn back around or not. Ugh, I'm so confused right here. And that's my other point about body language. Body language can't give you all the answers or all insight into what a person is thinking. However, it gives you something. And I think something is a little better than nothing. Does she not have a phone? Is, is this what he pulls out of his pocket? He is pulling out a phone because he was going to gift it to her? Is that is that seriously what this... What is this movie about? Am I going to watch it? No. No, I'm not. Her focus is on the phone, right? Right, right. And she's, she's low-key going to take it. Isn't she? I'm going to be real. I didn't want to finish that clip, but I could hope you could understand the importance of doing an exercise such as this. It's to give you a little one up on just a regular naked conversation. The fact that conversation is 55% nonverbal, that means a lot. You can be very perspicacious and being good at able to read other people, but you need to be able to know why. You need to learn the causal and effect of body language. There are certain actions we do when we feel a certain way. Same way how when you're closed off, A, you're mad, or you want to comfort yourself, or some other negative territory I don't want to go into. I will say I missed a lot, and it is up to you to help me figure out what I missed. At the same time, if you want to be better at reading people's body language, you gotta subscribe, you gotta follow. You gotta check out my other social media platforms because I post exclusive content on each platform. It's tedious, but it's how we're gonna grow the most. Until next time, I'll see you later.